Now, the, the kneecap is quite small. I want you to get your fingers above and below it with quite a lot of pressure down into the bed. And then you slide it up and down. Now I can feel a lot of grit there, like sand behind the kneecap. And I'm sliding the kneecap up and down again. Remember, with a lot of compression. And you would keep going for several minutes and you'll find that that grittiness goes from feeling like sand to feeling like sugar to feeling like salt and then to feeling like a, a very fine talc and that is actually sanding off the back of the kneecap so you would do it for say two or three minutes then you would follow hard on that by mob by icing the knee with a block of ice. Now the way we do this is to freeze a cup of water in the fridge, in the freezer and have it there and drive around the whole kneecap. Remember the swelling behind always collects behind the kneecap. It's extremely cold. You can't do it for very long and you would do this once a day immediately after mobilizing and before you go on to your next exercise. You'd better to have a towel under your knees so the water doesn't go everywhere. And there we go. Right, so after you have sanded the kneecap, now you have to polish it. And the way you do that is to sit on any high surface, a sturdy table, and you simply swing your legs. Now I suggest to all my patients that they do this when they're talking on the telephone because you would do it for several minutes a day and the more lackadaisical the better and that is simply polishing off the back of the kneecap after you have done the sanding by you mobilizing with your own hands. You would do it for no more than um, 60 seconds, a minute or so or as long as the the, the telephone conversation lasts and ideally you would do it every day. There we go.